Hello and welcome everybody. We're playing a new game called Axiom Verge. From what I know, this is a Metroidvania in with a sci-fi look. And I don't really know much else. I know that apparently the boss runs are uh, rather pleasant, which is a nice thing. And uh, for that reason, uh, we're jumping into a new game. Oh, and we will be starting on a hard difficulty. Um, I'm playing this blind. I've never played it before, but uh, I'm sure it's uh, it will be excite an exciting journey. So uh, I'm looking forward to see how this is. New Mexico 2005. Oh, okay. I know it's a newer game. It's I think it came out in like 2015. Video one. So, uh, I assume it has something to do with aliens. Trace, it's charged and ready. Thanks, Hammond. Starting the pulse now. If only it would work this time. Not sure what he is exactly doing now, but... <clears throat> I'm sure we will find out in time. Uh-oh. That's weird. The beamlet was... Okay. Trace, there's a problem. What's that sound? <clears throat> As the building collapsed on top of me, I knew it was all over. My life, my goals, all fruitless. But if this were truly the end, if I... Well, this is going too fast for me. Well, let's just say that everything has been a lot of... Uh, I can't read that fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> what is going on? So the game plays in 2005. Trace. That uh, the name of our protagonist. Maybe. Wake up, Trace. Now I can... Do skip the skip the, the dialogue and stuff and uh, read at my leisure. Oh, what happened? Trace, there is a gun in next room. You must get it. Okay, like the game gets straight to the point. Go grab that fucking gun and uh, start to destroy already. Wait, what's going on? Where are you? Hello? Where am I? Okay, so I can move. Press up to save. What? Okay, so this is basically a, a save point as well. Interesting. <laughs> neat little... Neat little animation. Oh. So, this was left. I think we should go right to grab our gun. <clears throat> uh, what else can we do? We can jump. Otherwise, nothing is working. Oh. So, this seems to be blocked at the moment. Let's go towards the left then. That seems to be our only choice at the moment. Oh, this is our gun, right? The Axiom Disruptor, a high-tech biomechanoid a weapon. Use X, lock position LB. Okay, so... Is this the gun that the, the... Is this the gun that lady mentioned or did I just imagine her? Well, I didn't see a lady, so... Um, let's uh, do some kind of a lady uh, robotic voice. I have no idea how that sounds. Sorry, I am... Where are we? You must go now before he finds you. I have no idea uh, whether that is actually a robotic lady, but I'm like, this is just looking so sci fi ish to me that I think this is a decently fitting voice. Before who finds me, what's going on? I guess she's gone again. Okay. Well, we can shoot now. Interesting. Uh, I'm not getting damaged here. I can duck. That's good. 
Does that accomplish anything other than, like, senseless destruction? I mean, I'm all for senseless destruction, but... <clears throat> it would be nice to have a additional purpose. There is a bar to the left. Maybe that's our health. I don't know. So, I guess we'll have to shoot our way free here. Oh, I'm always scared that... This uh, is, is actually hurting me, but apparently it's not. It seems like we have unlimited ammo too. I don't know. I don't know whether the, the enemies will respawn, but I assume that's something we'll find out as well. So far, so good. Easy start. Oh, what is? What are these kind of things? So they take like three hits. Okay, we do have a map. Set a reminder. With the L set reminder tool. Okay, so I can clear the current reminder. That's nice. I can I like that I have a map and then I can mark things on a map. Because one of my biggest weaknesses is that I'm getting lost very fast. So that's really good news for me. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's continue in this room first before we go and explore all whoop, all the other stuff. I like the jumping; it's uh, smooth and snappy. So far, controls are very tight. Okay, so maybe so, so. I know this is a Metroidvania, so I guess there will be some. Sections that are locked off. Let's let's go here since we are already made our way to the top and uh, See Whether we can accomplish anything here. Oh, I was afraid that will hurt me. What are these things anyway? So this is like a some kind of a hive that spawns these oh I got hurt. They do they do shoot. It's just it's a bit hard to see. Especially since the sun is shining directly on my screen, which is uh, not so good, but the game is bright enough, at least at the moment, so I don't think it will impact my gameplay too much. So there is a way to go up. Always look at the map. I think that's like that's uh, one of the key points in these games in general. Uh, also, I have no idea how we heal. So, as always, in these kind of games, the quest is to find the next save point. Uh, I guess. Well, before we go up, let's just move further to the right and maybe get in trouble in the process. What the hell is this? Okay, we can go through here. Will it respawn? Maybe. I can't get up there. Okay, so the only way forward is through this one. Interesting how the level design is made. It's like, yeah, it's uh, basically all rooms. I like that. That's, I think, relatively typical for these type of games, but I'm, I'm not a genre veteran. Like, I guess my first real Metroidvania was blasphemous. What do we have here? Nova. Firing once launches a large projectile. Firing again causes it to detonate. Okay, so we can change our weapon. Let's try that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. We have a new weapon to play around with. Otherwise, this seems to be a dead end, but I'm glad we came here. I always like dead ends uh, in these kinds of games, like real dead ends that we for sure don't have to come back to. Uh, so I guess I can shoot up and uh, yeah, detonate this and then... We can open doors and push levers and all the good stuff, you know?
How much health does this thing has now? It feels like I'm doing less damage. <clears throat> Maybe I have to detonate them. Okay, it's really hard to aim actually. The detonate thing. I can do two damage this way. If I time it correctly, I think. It still takes like an eternity to blow through the... Ugh. Okay, so let's get this one back for now. It seems to do more damage, so I guess that's uh, the weapon of choice for now. And I always like more damage. I always pick more damage above more survi survivability. Uh, it also seems that our... Oh, what the fuck are you? Uh, that our health went back up. Oh, shit. And now I lost it again. Okay, well. That's life. Uh, no. What is... Okay, so this is damaging me. I guess... There is no fall damage. That's good to know. Can't we get up there? There is no air charge or air jump or, or double jump or... And I can't get over there. Okay, so I think... I think we should actually mark this on the map. Uh, let's mark this with uh, a reminder too. So that we know we have to come back here at some point. Interesting. I'm liking the game so far. Uh, I don't know whether our progress is getting saved if I die now. Like, do I have to get the weapon again or... Okay. Are these guys respawning? Shit. Let's get to safety here. And clear out the nest from a distance. It's probably gonna be a bit taxing uh, on the hands because I have to press the shoot button a whole lot of time. That's uh, probably because I'm playing on hard mode that the enemies have just more health. I was hoping for a little bit like something more innovative. A, a more innovative difficulty system rather than just like more health more damage and you know all the standard stuff Okay, good. I, well at least we are safe um, Maybe I should actually go back to the start and save the game just in case You know Just in case. Let's do that. Let's let's quickly go back to the start. I mean, it's not... It should not take too long. On the other hand, I would actually like to find out whether we die, but, uh, whether we can keep our stuff, but... I think we will find it out soon enough, so... Let's save. It also restores our health. Well, that's interesting. So... We still got our weapon. That's good. Progress has been saved. And we got our, our health back. So the, the save point is not only a save point, but also a peeling spot, basically. Now, look. let's look at the map. Uh, there is another way on top to the left that we could pursue, but I guess we will, since we are already here, let's move to the right here. Okay. So... Hmm. Let's try our other weapon. So these are not platforms I can stand on. And I... Assume that we need some kind of a upgrade to crush through those blocks. So we'll switch back to the other weapon. That's good to know. 
so far it's actually rather linear there are a lot of dead ends I won't mark this on the map for now because I think we will find it again okay so here we need our other weapon good and get this one back oh what was that <clears throat> some kind of a Anyway, whatever it is, it does terrifying noise. And... I hope the sound volumes are okay. So this niche, this should be a dead end. Oh, it's a safe spot. Well, let's save then. Game saved. Cool. I like it. That's, that's a good start. We'll see how we'll continue. Okay, let's go here. Ooh, boss. Is that, is that a boss? Huh. That was very suspicious. That is a boss. Crap, I'm trapped. Demon! Whoa, hey, you can talk? Listen, I'm uh, lost and... Demon of the Toxic Kill. Okay. Not a very friendly guy. Ugh. I'm regretting already that I'm playing on art. This is gonna be like a bullet hell ish game. Um. Well, let's. Okay, so these things explode. No, let's. I, I think. Whoa. Let's stay with this one. I mean, this is definitely not the hardest boss uh, ever, but I'm I'm ho at half health, really. Probably got some explosions. I don't know when they decide to explode, and I don't think this guy has a health meter. Or something. I hate bullet hell games. Those are not my forte. Uh, so I hope this one stays rather calm with the amount of bullets it throws at, at us. But we'll see, I guess. Uh, there is, it's a bit unfortunate there. There doesn't seem to be a stop health meter I don't know how much uh, oh, how much damage we're doing okay oh shit come back stop it I hate those that explode oh Almost dead. Well, I mean, I haven't. I wouldn't expect to beat a boss first try. So, oh. Okay, now he's doing. He's getting faster. It seems. Stop it! Stop it, you! Jerk! Oh my god. This takes a lot of concentration. Ooh, that was close. I think I have like one HP left. Whoa. Ooh. How much health does he has? Jeez. This is way too bullet spongy. Stop it. Die already. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I, I, I have to hit this weak spot or something. Like what, what are these blinking lights? Can I destroy those? No. 
Maybe I have to hit him in the side? But he he blinks when I oh, when I hit him. Oh, he's dead. Achievement unlocked. Zedur. Hey, first try. That's not too bad, I guess. I mean, we don't have any health left, but I mean, first boss, first try. What's going on? Okay. Uh, can I grab the rest of this stuff too? I, some somehow I s quick switched the weapon. Huh. Well, should we go and save? I guess we should go and save. And hope that this thing doesn't respawn. Whoa. So, the, the bosses, or generally the enemies, have a little bit too much HP, I'd say. And that's probably because I'm playing on hard difficulty. But uh, let's see, let's see how this continues. It's, it's fine. So yeah, it's really nice that the checkpoint is directly next to the boss. 